Hello everyone, welcome back to my Vlad Von Karstein campaign. Let's go look around real quick. Today is a shorter episode, but don't worry, I'll be making it up this week by having longer episodes. You know how I like to make it up to all of you. So, we're going to be having Norska come out pretty darn soon. I did put out a little faction vote so that you could either choose Wolfric or Throg. From what I last looked at, it does look like Wolfric is going to win. So I'll find whatever mods I can to spice it up and all of that, but it's going to be for still faith overhaul, so I'll need to be very careful on what I put together. And we'll keep on going for our Vlad Von Karstein campaign. We'll have two parts out a day, one for Vlad, one for Norska. So with all of that said, let's go look around real quick. We've got Katarin, the Pale Queen. I would like to use my Banshees to go after these very fortified locations. I mean, my Banshee is so powerful. A nearly 100% chance to break down walls. And she cannot die. It's incredible what you can do with a hero. I should probably use them more, but here we go. Let's go down. And again, done. She's nearly level 11. What level are you? You're level 30 now. I don't really use them in battle. Oh, and for lore, to let you know, we are going to be talking about current wraiths. No. Katarin, let's go. I love that. Look at that. She's driving on a big card. Okay, I'm going to give who what then. I'm going to give you some armor piercing. All right. I'm going to give you some leadership. And don't worry, I'll be able to respond to comments as I normally do pretty darn soon. I've had a pretty busy week with family being here and all, but that will be over very soon. That way I can get back to interacting with all of you again. Talisman of Protection. Okay, that's a nice big word save. We're going to upgrade that Witch House right away because I could use more corruption everywhere, even down here. There's Belligar Iron Hammer. Okay, so they're not coming for me just yet. We took over another location. We are slowly taking apart our enemies, and it is ideal. Bloody Berg is over here. One day I'll be playing as that huge modification for Marienburg. That's going to be a lot of fun. The mod maker for that, Sam, is a really cool guy, and I can't wait to check out his work. But that's just a hint of things that come in the future. Aha. All right, let's go look around real quick. Blackstone Post, I'll upgrade you. And over here, I'll upgrade that to a Tomb Maker's Atelier. There's an art to creating a, me a memorable tombstone or grand mausoleum. There we go. That's a new word for me. All right. Nordland is way over here. And what am I going to take today? I'm going to take my corpse pile. I could always use a corpse pile. And we have the White Death right now who's going to pick up Devastating Charger. Actually, let's give him a steed. I'm going to give him a armored steed for our next level for him. She leveled up to level 12. Ooh, look at what we get over here. Quick Blood. It won't lock the other one. Good. Okay. So Quick Blood. Is it possible to dart aside and avoid a cannonball? Is it possible to grab an arrow and flight or in fight with one's hand? It certainly is for these vampires. The sword strikes of even the most skillful men are but clumsy and childlike before the yeah, below speed of the vampire and then innocence lost. These deceptive creatures look so inoffensive and vulnerable that naive enemies lower their defenses. That is when they strike with all of their supernatural strength, ripping apart armor and bodies with their seemingly innocent hands. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we get a much bigger leadership or size. And look at that weapon strength. 540 for her. I haven't even really upgraded her melee capabilities. At 15, we get more abilities and later seduction to debuff our foes whenever they fight me. And over here, Sigvald, I'm going to give you your Nightmare. And for Voju, we shall give you a hard to hit. There we go. Now you're a bit tankier. Fantastic. Okay, Carcass, go join her. We're working in pairs right now because one army could be easily defeated by Bretonia. It's only due to our sheer numbers that we are able to win. Let's go over here now and end our turn once more as we continue to destroy our enemies. Card rays are evil, spectral creatures that live in the realms of nightmares. They are the most dreaded of the undead, lacking any physical form. They cannot be put down by sword or hammer. Even the strongest faith cannot be rid of them easily. Their icy touch is capable of freezing and chilling a man. Before the colleges of magic were founded, men knew little about the magical arts. For thousands of years, they were tribal wise men, gifted seers, healers, and all those were viewed with awe or fear. Some could use the winds of magic with relative safety. Those were the lucky few. Most would have the side effects that are really not what you would like to have at all. And they would begin to warp and change them. And they didn't know about the inherent danger about what they were trying to do. 
Some were able to prolong their lives, but not their forms, and so the bodies died off, but they lived on, becoming wandering spirits. They became shadows wandering between this realm and the next. While they have their own will, vampires know of rituals to bind them to theirs. And only when the ritual is spoken backwards, syllable by syllable, are the race released back to their place of undeath, or whatever, death. They're often used as shock troopers, not bothered by cannonballs or flames, so only magic or an enchanted weapon are meant to strike them down and most feel terror from their presence. Himri. But yeah, I'll probably even surprise you guys with like future campaigns. I usually do hold votes, but I have a few ideas in the future on what we're going to do just to change things up because I'd like to give all of you a new experience when I'm able to. But there's a few factions that I haven't played in a very long time yet. We're going to upgrade that now. And Necromancer's Tower, get that out of the way. Norden's over here. Let's go pick up. Let's see. We have a corpse file. Then I will grab a Bellfire Brazier. Because more corruption is good for me. I would love it if we could cause a few vampire rebellions. That would be ideal. Chaos would need to come down to burn down a few more locations. As right now, the Empire has a majority of Norska. Dear me, look at that. That is a tremendous amount of power. Oh, hello. Here's one army. The chaos has been rather underwhelming. Partially because the Empire is so powerful. Alright, there's Albrecht de Borlo. We need to get ready to go after other locations. Oh my god. Who burned that down? Was that... I believe the dwarves may have done so. So right now the dwarves are fighting the wood elves and they're winning. The wood elves look to be rather weak. They were unable to get ahead. Alright, you did it. Good work. I'm going to bring you down now to go find out who's nearby. Ah, oh, hello, Bohemond Beast Slayer. Already you're rallying up quite the mighty army. But guess what I get to do? I get to move down the fight too. I love watching him barrel down the road. That is terrifying. Could you imagine that guy just chasing you? Oh, man. I would not be happy. I'd be like, oh, God, please. <laughs> or, oh, Sigmar, please. There we go. Another location that belongs to me. We can get the barrows of Quelu. The grave is the site of the last battle between the Knights of Quelu and the Greenskin Horde. Centuries later, undead horsemen are ready to ride down the foes once more. That's really cool. Look at that. A physical resistance for my knights, plus 12 for Black Knights. Cool. A charge bonus. Oh, these are really good for Black Knights. I love it. Alright. We also get that for Public Order. I'm going to build that, destroy that building. Bring her down. Now you are in my lands. Okay, Abraham, let's go. That's for the two of you. You're going to get ready to go after Albrecht. We could go after Aquitaine. That's true. That's true. But we shall wait. I'm sure we've got a big battle left, but we shall see. I'm trying to unite these lands. That is so far from my own. All right. I guess I should probably give you that. You're getting a Terror Geist at level 20, so that's pretty cool. I need you to have the hunger. I could give you a few other things too. There's some magic for you. I've given you a lot of armor. Like he's got so much armor, it's pretty wild. Yeah, I think I'm gonna buff up his melee capabilities, but that dude has 82 armor, which for him, as you can see, is a huge amount. He's got a ward save as well. Let me go look at what I might be able to give. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a Dragon Bane gem. Here's your blade. Here's a bit of armor. Here's a shard and a potion of full hardiness, and then you can have a few of these characters over here, a few followers to help you out. All right, Necromancer, there's really not too much for me to give you. I don't need to give you a ward save, but I will give you an item over here, in addition to a few more followers. No enchanted item. If only we just had like crafting for every faction. There are features for specific factions that I feel like should apply to every faction. There's a huge ward save, Wolfric the Reaver. Now you're going to be even tougher for his army. Fantastic. Okay. Lucien Pavarotta. I shall now give you, my dear, block army. Then we shall end our turn once more. And you can see how we're beginning to wipe out our foes. If we fight the Empire, that's going to be the biggest war that we'll have fought probably in all of our Total War career because of the sheer size that they have. I would need some big help to be able to fight the Empire. I would probably rush straight to Altdorf. And then we'll see what comes after that. I don't even know how I'm going to cover all these lands. If I gave it all to Musion and they belong to me, they could fight, but I feel like they wouldn't be able to get very far. 
it'll probably be better for me to hold on to what I have. Now, the Wood Elves, let's say I were to conquer their lands. I could raise them up, make them my vassal. I could liberate them, then fight them. That way they serve me. I don't think they would be much good to me, but... Because we would have to fight the freaking dwarves, too. If I could find a way to break up their alliance, or maybe they'll break it on their own, then I could fight the dwarves, take them out, then go after the Empire. Getting rid of that dominant foe that can use the underway would be a huge boon for me, because if I do not, they will bring a stack or two or three all over my lands. And I do not want to permit that, for it is quite annoying. All right, so now we're just waiting for some more stuff to go on today. Still technology, they have completed that. We're still trying to go after Bordelo. Albrecht is actually defending Bordelo. Look at him go. Good for you, buddy. Okay, Carcassonne, let's come on down. She's level 31. Again, once, I mean, they begin to roll down that hill, you can't stop them. They're way too powerful. Now, she's just becoming even more powerful. Than she ever was before. I can't go down there without taking a lot of damage. Katarin, let's go. I have broken down that wall. They still have a big garrison. Not a... Actually, it's not really not too big. Okay. Alright, we'll be there in a minute. They've got a lot of Grill Knights. They brought in the mightiest of their kind to fight me. Initially, I mean, we lost a battle with Vlad. That's when I knew that these guys would be a challenge. But through the sheer will of my forces alone, are we able to break them down? Are we able to diminish their powers. Jacob uh, Hemlock, come on down, buddy. We've got story after story being written. We have character after character out here. There's just so much going on, and to me, it's just a truly fascinating campaign. By far, one of our best ones that we've ever had. One of the most interesting ones I've seen, personally. All right, let's get Nels. We're going to come over here and build up that corpse pile, upgrade that for more public order. And Lucine Pavarotta, you'll come over here. I'm not going to attack Brigon just yet, I suppose. I mean, I want to, but... Well, they don't have a lot of land. I could just fight them now. Might end up doing that. Okay, corruption is beginning to spread. I've got recruitment buildings. I don't know what... Like, do I get a unique building over here? Let me find out. I do get a resource. I don't see a unique building, though. For me. Cool. Correct the Flynn. You're over here. Let's go and... I'm not going to upgrade that wall yet. I'm going to go look at who's unhappy. Northern Oblast, okay. Or are you unhappy? Lack of corruption. You're at 91%. What are you... What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't understand. I'll lower your taxes a bit more. The Northern Green Mountains, you're not even being taxed. That's really it for unhappy locations. Yeah, it's largely walls that aren't upgraded right now and like really expensive buildings that I can't afford yet. So, we're nearly ready. What's stone is down here? Here's Monofort level 3. Yeah, we'll begin to upgrade walls just to have it done. Just to get that garbage out the way. Okay, Waldemar, get ready. It's nearly time. Level 30 for her. There you go, you're on the Hellsteed now. You get to fly around doing your little vampire lady stuff. Alright. So I believe it's not time for me to go into battle. No point in me waiting. Welcome to my court. Yeah, welcome to his court. Drink them dry. Okay. We have friends coming in to help out. Jacques de Lanay. And we have Bohemond Bislayer. I did play as Bohemond. I don't think I got to finish this campaign. That was a pretty buggy campaign, too. That campaign was buggy, as was my um, Talia one. Which just, I mean, I loved it. Like It was quite a bit of fun, but now I know all about how to make my mods compatible, so things will be better in the future. Though, Britannia has like such a weird start. It really needs to be tweaked a bit, in my opinion. I get the whole penalty, but that just means that they have a lack of foes. Like, the whole penalty that you get because of that one green skin base... And every other that she's like super hostile to you. It's just like a weird beginning. It's not my favorite beginning in any of the starting positions, I think. So I would need to find a way to make that a little bit more palatable and enjoyable for me to indulge in, I think. Or I just won't like it, man. Okay. So they have a pretty. Oh, yeah, I remember this map. It's been a while, but I do remember it. I thought I saw it for the High Elves, though, and not... No, I'm sure it was for Bretonia. Maybe it was over here doing something. Okay. 
let's go get ready now. If they're coming over here, then I should be over here as well. Thought I broke down some of your walls. Hold on. Did I? Oh, they're damaged. If I brought him my other Banshee, it would have been fine. Yeah, I damaged them, but I didn't actually destroy them. I didn't have, like, solid breaches. Well, very well. As it is, so it shall be. We'll come over here. We'll come over here. The rest of you just kind of do your thing way back here. You three will be over here. You've got your crazy throne. Oh, okay. So it's a, Oh, my God. So you get to ride on the Mortis engine. Hell, yeah. Uh oh, a little bit of clipping. That's got to be fixed. But, yeah, she gets that. Nice, nice. That's all the group one. Alright, so here's what we're going to do for one. Come over here. And over here. Zombies, move on up. I'm going to bring a horde in as well. Oh, I can bring them like way over there. Nice. Even better. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. We're going to get the Var guys to move in as well to go after these peasant bowmen who are currently attacking my units. Go after that group. You two come over here. We'll go kill them all. You three come to the middle, kind of. Got to be careful, though. That can lead to a few issues. Zombies move in. I've got another Vargulf. Here's another, the Lady's Bane. Very nice, very nice. So here we go. Look at this beautiful city and how we're just now marching towards it. They've got the bowmen trying so hard right now to win. They're using magic, too, to break down what we have. But now my Var guys are here being like, oh, hello, greetings. Oh, my God, his torso is missing. Yep, that was a nice punch. That was a good vampire punch. Didn't realize they had magic down here, too. They certainly do. I'll have to watch out for all that garbage. You know what? If you want to play that game, let's go play that game. Where are you? I'm going to go breathe on him a little bit. Got some magic over here, too. So what we'll do, we're probably going to use some magic right on top of these peasant bowmen just to kill a few of them. Yeah, their archers are gone, so we already took the walls. Thank you for the walls. Oh, and I'm nearby, so good luck with that. Look at that two terror guys. Oh, I thought that one was like dead already. I was like, oh no. Well, it is dead, but you get my point. Two of them working together now. These peasant bowmen are not equipped for such a fight, all right? And now I have Graveguard moving up to fight them too. All right, let's go kill these peasant bowmen. Or come kill these spearmen at arms. We'll take care of them real quick. They won't be here for very long. They won't be here for long. Oh my god, look at my big line of units. They're just kind of in a weird location. Did you break down the wall? Pardon? Or the gate? I don't think we got the gate, or did we? If we did, then great. If we didn't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yo, bar guys, don't fly over there. I'm not asking for that today. So go after that paladin. You can do that for me. All right, we'll go after this group. These Vargas guys are taking some damage. I'm going to go heal up my Vargas guys real quick. Leave my Kratoras alone, please. We can bring them all in. Yo, zombies, if you're able to move in, then go move in then. You got it. I believe in you, okay? Got all these flying units and Vargas guys up here. Got Grave Guard on the walls. It's just too much. Yeah, they're they're terrified. They're not having a great battle. Let's go ahead and heal up my Kratoris here back here to get some damage. Everyone gets healed today. I mean, you go ahead and do your thing. I don't have Arcane Conduit over here yet. No, I do not. Do you have it? That's a miscast chance. That's pretty cool. It can be kind of hard to time. I wish it was like an auto reaction or something like that. That would be interesting. Anyway, let's move in. Come, vampires. Time to give them a vampire ride. Hmm, yes. And then Jacques over here holding the gate. Or, well, he was holding the gate. I don't know what he's doing now. I think he's having a vampire orgy, so... That's his life now. The life of a vampire orgy participant. Come over here. Oh, okay, is that what we're doing today? I didn't realize. Let's go kill that group of 40 peasant bowmen. As I bring all of them over here to go kill you. Do you have any other cool friends to go pick on? 
Oh, we've just got a lot of grill knights, yeah. So let me get ready for this garbo. It's garbage. Move in, zombies. Let's go. Here's a grill relic. I love how it glows in that group. That's so much cooler than just having them on their own. That's so much better. Okay. So I'm losing some grave guard. Let's go ahead and change that up real quick. Oh, you're on the walls. I can't do that yet. Never mind. You've killed 55, so you were fighting clearly a bunch of foot squires and garbage like that. All right, so let's get the grave guard in for one. Let's get other grave guard in for two. Zombies are in here too. Critical hordes. We've got Vargulfs in here. My flying core. Let's get all of them together as well. So you're all, all in group three. I need all of you in group one. Let's get all this into group one. Group four, whatever, doesn't matter. All right, all my mounted, oh, well, you're not all meant to be in that group. Hold on, put all of you back into group four. Mounted units, you're gonna move up. Crypt Horrors, you're gonna be with the Vargulves just to make my life a little bit easier. When the rolls kind of like fit together, I will put them together. So now it's just like my zombies in here fighting a bunch of Bretonians. But here comes the big boys. Look at that, three Vargulves. Oh my god, look at her just charge in. She's got a Mortis engine. That guy's head just went flying away. That sound though, oh god. Anyway, we did it, they're gone. Okay. So now, I need to probably use a little bit more magic. Let's go ahead and use Alt 2. I got used to the hotkeys, I'd be good to go. I'll have to memorize the placement of things. Always forget. Yeah, they're able to regenerate a little bit, so we're gonna help them out. Oh, one. We'll click over. Yeah, if I did hotkeys, I did it so much for Warcraft 3, but the hotkeys are a little bit easier to format together, I think. So that was a little bit more interesting. My zombies alone are able to fight them. I love it. Let's move up this. Oh, hello, peasant bowman. Hi there. Well, I'm gonna have the winged core come after you. Yeah, my groups are pretty organized right now, so good luck. Let's get all these guys into group two. Hold on. There we go. Much better. All of you into your own group. Mortis Engine, you'll go join the hero group. Look at that. Goodbye, peasant bowman. But we are so poor! We cannot afford attention! Ah, sacre bleu! And they leave. Because they're meant to be a parody of the French medieval times. That's back like when Warhammer took a very comical, grim, dark tone. Whereas like later they just took themselves a little bit more super seriously, but uh, yeah, the comedy was a little bit more focused on the tonality of like what they would go for in editions would kind of vary over time, which makes sense. Ooh, nice, nice hit. Vampire, that's how you know she's a true vampire. She says that she is a vampire over and over. All right, so zombies, I want you up here. Then I want all of this group and my flying core to come up and my leaders to come up. Whereas all of you will come over here. That'll work out. With my crit ghouls. We'll go to two different directions. I don't believe in one direction. All right, I've got a cool thing to do. Hold on, let's go use our scary Terry breath. Time for some scary Terry. No, we'll just go after the Grill Knights. That's it. Get screamed on. And dead. Here comes another one. Three dead. Three less knights to take out scores of my units. Beautiful, beautiful, I say. That is correct, you are a vampire. 
focus. I'll have you wait then. Hold on. Just come over here quick. Hold on. Oh my god, they actually came back. Go get them. We're not done then. Screw them. Look at my mini armies though. Or they're just all trailing into the city now. It's so cool looking. Oh, Vargolf. Did I not put you in a group? My little friend. How could I forget about you? Evidently very easily. Alright. So we're gonna bring him down too. We're just gonna bring in my zombies to help like pad things up. Then we're gonna go charge in and do some serious damage to our opposition. We got a bunch of locations to fight for. I'm gonna fast forward for now because it's taking way too long for me to get over there. What am I fighting? Am I fighting Grell Knights? Oh crap, hold on, let's move out. I think they caught me with a few Grell Knights, yeah. Oh no! Let's go in, let's go in. Okay, here's what we're gonna do then. I'm gonna go ahead and buff you up. Get some healing on you. Oh no, actually we'll just go ahead and use that real quick. And then, let's see, I'm gonna have her instead heal up my Terror Geist. She can probably move pretty close. Yeah, all my flying units should be able to do some damage to these Grell Knights. Very good. Come on, get over here. I've got all that charge bonus stuff. Take care of him. Come on. There we go. Now they're dead. Five left. They're leaving the map. That was really close and terrifying. Okay, old man. Let's get you to heal him up as well. Oh yeah, I've got to put you on a mount. It's way too slow if I need you to actually move somewhere. I'm pretty low on magic at the, at the moment. Alright, so we're moving all of you over here to go after these Grell Knights. Go now. I mean, Blood Knights, if you want to go after them too, go do that. Zombies, are you finally here? You are finally here, cool. Let's go in. And then we're going to have group number six move in too. Group number three move in as well. Well, hold on. Before we do that, move them back. We're letting the zombies move in. Well, we were. Let's go through this group instead. Group four move in. My poor Vargals are taking some damage right now. You might as well buff him up with all that extra business. Great way to keep him going. Alright, so the Grell Knights are already melted away. They got charged into. So they're done for. Oh! White King, come on in, buddy. You got a nice ward save, right? Or something like that? Maybe you don't. No, no, no. I did give you that, but you won't get it till next turn. All right. So they're all moving in. We're hitting them at various locations. I think they're trying to pull back. Did they try to pull back? Oh, now they're fighting. Okay. So, oh my god. Look at this humongous wave of evil. I should have get these guys over here real quick. And then hit them from behind. Is that a trebuchet? Oh god. That's going to get so many kills. Alright. Not if we really go after them. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go after the Royal Pegasus Knights for one. We'll take care of that first. They're not going to land. So we'll go kill them. And then I want... Let's see, group six to come up. We'll go after the freaking Grell Knights. Oh, you're still fighting, old man? I didn't realize. You nearly got killed. Oh, right, we're fighting Bohemon. How could I forget? Yeah, he's over here, too. He's still four. Yeah, we'll take care of him real quick. Oh, found more of them. Hold on. We took, we're taking care of the Royal Pegasus Knights right now. That's taking a little bit. They've killed one so far, but we're still fighting them. Another one dropped. Nice little air battle going on. Okay. All of you one down here. Let's move up now. Enemy Lord is wounded. Very good. Zombies, let's move on over. Okay. So we've got two groups of very mighty enemy units. Oh, we're still not done fighting the Pegasus Knights. They did a lot of damage too. Holy crap. So you guys are still fighting down here, right? Did you finish? Kind of. So here comes my gigantic tidal wave. Look at that. Alright. Let's move some things down real quick. Like my knights. My knights took some nice hits. Some nice lumps. I could just like bring them in. They just need to go in, I guess, to go fight. Alright. Okay, let's go. 
right now. We need to charge in, so let's go do it. Let's bring in these zombies. Okay, good work. Let's bring in some more units. Let's go. Our guys are moving in. They've killed so many. You know how important they are to a lot of my strategies. Tourism, I'm going to come for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Improve some of that. Let's buff them up. Buff up their defenses a bit. I don't have any healing for them. Crap. That guy's all covered in blood. All right, I think they're done, though. I think this is it for them. Despite, like, what they did damage-wise, I think we finally did it. We broke them. Come over behind them now. Blood Knights can easily get right behind them just to finish them off. Even they'll break. Even their courage faltered. All right, so we're done here. Bohemond is dead. Yeah, raising these guys up as undead knights would probably change the entire fate of the world. They're meant to just be the most dynamic, most powerful knights ever. And then you just kill them, you raise them up, and you've got the most powerful white kings or blood dragon lords if you turn them into vampires and don't kill them outright. Bohemond be slayer. Okay, so we lost a pretty low amount. 196, 195, that's pretty tit for tat. Barely any differences between the two of them. And so they lost, of course, their entire group. The day they are done for. Okay, loot gained. Time to occupy. Opponents are fighting large creatures, that's such a good I mean, it's plus 15. It's a pretty significant amount. We're going to grab that. We'll destroy a few things here. I don't need all this recruitment stuff in every look. Oh, that's actually not too bad to have. I'll keep that here for now. It's actually not too bad at all. All right, so we did our part. We took over nearly all of Bretonia. After that, they only have lands down here. We can go to Brion as well. We'll take them over. We'll take over these lands too, just to have the extra money. And then, again, it's going to be really hard to figure out what to do about the Empire. They have Qatar. Holy crap, they do. Wow. They have Death Gorge. They just have everything. I feel like the, the dwarves would have won some lands back. They would be like, hey, give me land. Oh my god, they really did take over the world tree. The High Weaver. Oh, right, yeah. There's Orion, level 16. Okay, we'll upgrade that too. Unassigned skill point. But yeah, the dwarves have been a little bit weird, so who knows what they might do. They're kind of like the wild card right now, it feels like. Then we have Wolfric the Reaver. We're going to give him Deadly Onslaught, that final tier that he has in that tree. And then for Katarin the Pale Queen, we're going to give her... Let's see, what am I going to pick up for this lady? Devastating Charge would be great, I'm sure. I don't need to give her too much for her magic. I could upgrade this spell if I wanted to, but yeah, let's go over here. She's got a lot of uh, grave guards, so let's give her the walking or the waking dead. It makes them stronger because again, she has got a lot of grave guards, so we might as well make them tougher. Okay, who leveled up? Lady Artoria. We'll give her a hell seed as well. Now we'll get into turn. Three armies are pretty close by. Yo, hold on. Did Musion just take lands over in Ulthawan? That's pretty funny. I think they did. I think they just took, yeah, they just took over some lands over in Ulthawan. That's terrifying. Even they were able to take crap from Teclis. Teclis is just like that book nerd is getting bullied. And it feels bad because he's actually incredibly powerful and the nicest to the humans. Oh, we can't trade with him any anymore. Did they confederate or did they just lose? Oh, it's him. They, they can't. So, yeah, they're probably just dead now. Or, you know, super dead. I, Vlad von 
Karstein, welcome thee. I welcome thee. Hello. Yeah, you're pretty weak too. I feel like the world should just be fighting the Empire, the entire world. It's the only proper way to have things play out. Once the Drukey are done with the freaking High Elves, then I guess like they can focus on... I have the west and eastern sides of the Empire, so if I could just like get inside of them. If only the upkeep... Oh, what's up? Huh, it's been returned to the shrine. I wonder who's going to pick it up next. Okay. The migration. Like, do I get to build a thing there and take it? Because if anyone could just build a thing in there and take it. I mean, unfortunately, they have it right now. Crap. Oh, well, I guess I won't be getting that today. There's no walls over here in Brion. Okay. There are walls over here in Bordello. That's done. Thank you, Lucine Pavrota. We're going to give you Block Army. In case we need you to do that in the future. And get you up. Let's get you up. Katarin, let's go attack. Oh. That's a great way to fight the freaking dwarves, too. That's actually really good to kill. Oh my god, that's how we can do it. That's how we'll fight the dwarves. Can I help you? Okay, the only problem is I wouldn't be able to easily get to them. That is true. I can afford technically like one extra army right now. I could have that over in the east. So we're going to do that eventually. I'm, I'm going to save that war deck for later. But we are going to use that. I just need to try to get my units a little bit closer to certain things in order for that to work out. What I might do, I might try to save up my money and pay for a treaty so I can move into Imperial lands. I just need some military access right now. But So what's the big deal, dude? Like, Oh, it's falling down again? Why? Bretonia, Nagarond, Clan Rictus, the Bear Sunlings, Past Treaties, okay. They just don't like my treaties with a few other factions, right? Let the thing deliver its vile message. Of course. Shut up. Give me a gift. Just shut up. <laughs> the Druki love me. They're okay with me. They have no problem with me at all. The Hordes of Chaos, they're like, yeah, whatever. Or the Warriors of Chaos. Musion, they're not too happy. Still gonna go. Oh, right. You're causing the big issue. So I think I'll go after them probably pretty soon. I can go after Bordelow whenever. So there's like a few things that I can do now. Isabella von Karstein, she leveled up. I'm going to give her her hell seed now. She's now got that to fly in the air with the greatest of ease. I'll give you that so you can get your hell seed to fly with her. Oh, she actually got the rank up points. I wonder if that actually applied to her. But yeah, look at that upkeep for my hero alone. 800. So the upkeep is at a pretty significant amount. Look at that. It eventually kind of like prevents you from being able to truly just raise up as many units as you want. As much as I just want more and more. So I'm just going to use that money to spend on like various things like diplomacy and all that. So that's all that I can do right now. Yes. Alright, so Katarin and friends, I think you're like pretty much done attacking a lot of what belongs to Bretonia. They might have some decent lands down here. They do have Bilbily. So I think I'm going to have Katarin or Carcass. Carcass needs to level up, so I'm going to bring him down. So Carcass and Abraham, they're going to move down together. They're going to start going into these lands down here and go after Tobado and Bilbily. There's a skull over here too for 10,000 and we might just like put a little army. Oh wait, that isn't. Okay, I thought that was Musion. Estalia has it. Okay, okay. Lothurn is still over here. So the High Elves are still holding out. The Drukey are fighting them. I wonder if they can fight a war in two fronts. I bet they could. I mean, they're pushing these guys back. I don't really want lands over in Ulthuan. They would be a pain to hold and... I could. I mean, I certainly could. It wouldn't be against like what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so War Council. Here's what we have so far. We nearly have all of Bretonia. What should I do to counter the Dwarven threat? Should I try to take them down first? If I do that, the Empire is sure to dislike me. They're not going to like that even more. And we'll do, again, continue to get ready to fight them. Um, the other idea is that I just freaking ally them. I'm not really, I don't really care about the victory objectives. They're kind of silly. Um, like I could, yeah, they want me to destroy that faction. That's not going to be happening just because of how long that would take. We would be here for the next few months trying to finish this campaign, I think. 
due to the sheer amount of time. We nearly have 20 provinces. That won't take any time at all. I can take over Musion. That won't be an issue. But I'm not going to travel all over the world. See, the the like really funny part is I gain most of these lands if I ally with freaking... Yeah, see, like they just want you to go after like each and every capital. So I'm not really about that life or cause. Even the short campaign victory is pretty silly. Like I prefer to make a little bit more of a lore type of goal. So in my head, my goal is to conquer as much as I can. And after that, I can think about warring with the Empire. They have lands all over. I will need other factions to go fight the Empire, so I'm probably going to have... I mean, look at that. They they have several stacks up in the north. They just have more armies than I do. If I didn't have the upkeep issue, then I could have as many armies as I want. But we'll see. We'll see how far we get with it, because we've gotten pretty far already. It's really just about like whether or not it'll be fun or not, because I did not anticipate the Empire blowing up as they did. But we're going to call it here for now. When we come back, we'll be on a new turn. We'll see if like any funny diplomacy stuff will be going on because I have a feeling the dwarves are going to be our wild card. But go ahead and let me know down below and look forward to more stuff later. And as always, until then.